It's in the social media stuff, at least as a staff. Well, You're well, not, well. but um, just talk about the process of going through that. And, and uh, Eric's, I know, kind of leading that yeah, charge. It's just bit. Eric and Norm, yeah, yeah. they're the two Norm's. driving forces. <laughs> and, uh, so, and I, yeah, if I was thinking yesterday, I would have said, you know, with this rumor about Norm's retirement, we, we should just check his Facebook or his Twitter site and see what, <laughs> what he was saying yesterday. But, uh, yeah, you know, it just, I said earlier, you know, recruiting is... is I was gone for nine years, and then when I got back in uh, 99, uh, that, that was so different than what, what I left in 89. And now it's just uh, totally changed in 11 years' time. So, uh, you know, that's just that's the world we're living in. And there, there are a lot of things in the world that I don't like right now, but it really doesn't matter, uh, you know, what I like or don't like. But, uh, you know, if, if we're going to compete and we're going to be successful, then we, we've got to adapt and change, and I realize that. So, you know, there are things you do in life. You put your personal preferences aside. And, uh, you know, you, you do what you uh, have to do to, to stay competitive. And, and uh, as long as it's, we're not talking about unethical things, which we're not hey. in this regard. So, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, we, we've tried to embrace it, and, and we want to get out in front. And, uh, you know, back in, in the 80s, I thought we were uh, one of the leaders as far as, you know, we did great work with graphics. Back in those days, you could give out, like, you know, scheduled posters and things like that. And, yeah, you travel around, uh, you know, Bernie Wyatt, great example, go out on the East Coast, you'd see Iowa schedule posters everywhere in weight rooms or coaches' offices, and that was, or calendars, you know, you could, do, you could mail those things out back in the 80s. And, and Iowa has to do things like that because of our disadvantages, uh, you know, recruiting disadvantages. So, uh, you know, it's, this is a, just a different form of that as far as I'm concerned. You know, we need to be on the forefront of uh, trying to be, you know, have a good website and all that jazz. Uh, you know, people, young people are tuned into that. Uh, a nice side sidecar to that is that, uh, you know, a lot of fans like that stuff, so it's good for fan interest, too, but uh, I'm more focused on recruiting. That, that's what my personal concern would be. So, yeah, we have to do it, and that's that's why, you know, on, on a staff, you have to have diverse members. You know, if Norm and I are in charge of that, we'd be, uh, you know, last in, in the NCAA right now. So, uh, you know, you have to have some guys who are, you know, very um, uh, current thinkers, and we, we have a lot of guys, a lot of the guys on our staff are, you know, they Twitter and they do all that stuff, and that's good, you know what I mean? So I'm all for it, so... Well, LeVar Woods has been tremendously yeah. helpful in that. You know, what a, what a great resource, you know. And uh, so, you know, but Eric's done a great job with that. And, you know, I think we've got a nice committee of guys on the staff that handle it. And, uh, you know, but we've got to do it. But, you know, my, one of my personal goals still is never to own a Blackberry, at least until I retire. You know, I don't know when I'm actively coaching. And, what, what? Uh, yeah, I just, you know, I, just, I don't embrace that stuff, but it, I realize it's important. So I'm not, I don't have my head in the sand either, I don't think. What is the... What is the policy for players right now? Because you have a few with Facebook page. I know Darrell's got like 9,000 Facebook friends. I don't know how he keeps all his voices man. straight in his head. That is. <laughs> and then uh, Tyler had a Twitter account going. Tyler Sash uh, had a Twitter account going. That is, Twitter is, It seems like Twitter's off limits now and Facebook's, Facebook's okay. okay. Yeah. Do you have well, a you know, policy? I mean, if I, if I could uh, ban all of it, I probably would. But, but I, I don't think it's realistic. You know, just, you know, again, I'm, I'm not that big of a... You know, deadbeat or, you know, fun killer. But, uh, but you know, we, we just try to continually educate our guys. I mean, this, this is dangerous stuff, and I, I think I think it's potentially dangerous. I, I, boy, there's so many good things about it, and I appreciate that, and I understand that. But, you know, I just, uh, you keep hearing all these negatives. And what affects us as a program, that concerns me first and foremost. But then down the road, too, you know, just you, you hear all these stories, or you see things about people doing things that are, Potentially damaging mm -hmm. uh, for future employment, or you know, it stays out the there. It's per kind of permanent. Yeah, so it's just uh, you know, the world's changed, and I think uh, yeah, I mean, all of us make mistakes, but I think sometimes uh, you know, when you're in that that 18 to 22 year uh, age group, you know, you just you're not thinking real globally about some things, and mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a long life out there. So it's uh, you just we just try to continually. Uh, Educate our players as to you know just being careful about what they're doing and mm -hmm. what have you. And it's just uh, for all the good. There's a, there's a lot of potential, and and the fact is that you know guys on our team aren't aren't like the the guys down the hall or the guy at the next department. They're they're visible, so they you know they can't do everything that everybody else does, and that's that's true in all facets of their life. But you know they, they got to go to Miami for 11 days and all that stuff for 10 days, whatever it was. I mean there, there's a given. No, nobody's complaining. But they just have to understand, you know, it extends into that that segment of their lives, just like it does when they walk downtown or mm -hmm. uh, go to class or not go to class. I mean, all that stuff. Somebody's keeping track of all that stuff. 
you never know who it is, especially in this day and age. Boy, you just never know who it is. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I got to thinking this is totally off the track. What was I thinking about? Oh, uh, yeah, anyway. Do you have a preseason seminar for the guys or anything? I mean, is there a scheduled thing or is that continual? It's just continual. Yeah, I mean, you know, we try to. We had some somebody from the NFL came in this spring did an excellent presentation. Uh, Troy Vincent came in did a very nice uh, presentation and. Yeah, the nice thing about all this stuff is there's always plenty of information out there, current events that we can cite, and it's weekly, you know. And I'm, I'm not talking to our team during the summer that much, uh, you know, but it's, you know, we're, we're throwing things in their mailboxes all the time, and just, you know, it's continual, and it's on all fronts, you know, conduct, this this technology stuff. It's just, you know, the, the world's different than it was 20 years ago, and, you know, uh, that's the way it goes, so. How did you find Carl Kluge over there? 3,000 people in Minnesota, one set of stoplights. He's a 207-pound linebacker. He said he was picked up and carried by Wes Ashelman during, uh, down the field during uh, one of his first few days of, on the defensive line. How did that one come up? And is that one of maybe your more proud works? I mean, Yeah, I mean, you know, we've had some good stories. And, and uh, I've said this many times. I mean, for us to have a chance competitively, we, we have to... You know, we have to have some of those stories, mm-hmm. and they don't all pan out. They're not going to all pan out, and I realize that. So, I mean, that's just part of our, our philosophy uh, organization. But, you know, really simply it came down to, I'm not sure exactly how the film ended up on Reese's desk. That's kind of Reese's area, I guess, right. you know, yeah. in yeah. rough terms. 20 miles um, north. Of probably border. closer, you know, to the core than it is Minneapolis, yeah, I guess. Is. So, uh, you know, we, we uh, liked this film. Uh, his coach was very enthusiastic about him, and then we met Carl. We were enthusiastic about what we, uh, you know, learned there. And, you know, he just uh, looked like a guy to us. It was, you know, we, we thought he'd be a defensive end. You know, uh, he's an athletic, tough, aggressive guy that ran around, and so, you know, the rest is kind of history. He's done all the hard work. He's he's endured a, uh, some, excuse me, physical challenges. Had surgery you know, on his back. And, yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh, you know, it's been a rough road for him. He's he's really earned it. And, you know, last year we're sitting here just, uh, you know, boy, how are we gonna how are we gonna replace King and Cole? And that was legitimate concern. And you know, one of our best stories last year was Carl Klug, who as, as well as Adrian played. Now Carl's about you know that far behind. It's just not as visible of a position. But both these guys are a pretty good tag team, and they're great friends, great kids. You know, it's just a. So that's the fun part about all this stuff. You know, just to, to watch uh, a guy blossom like that. And, and now he's really, uh, I'd, I'd liken him a little bit to the Pat Anger story, uh, whereas, you know, Pat coming out of his junior year was a good player, and then he just emerged as a leader during the out of season, and Carl's done the same thing. All of our players, if, if you interviewed our players, nine out of ten of them would, uh, you know, if you asked them three strongest leaders, I'd give you a Carl as one of those guys. So it's, it's just a, it's a real credit to him. He's worked extremely hard. Kirk, how do you surprised uh, Adrian didn't even think didn't want to file the paperwork. Most guys just uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit. I-